Wow. This is New Hampshire right here. Can you ask for a better road to rip? Not going anywhere. I didn't know that you said it. Uphill hole shot, baby! <laughs> Difficulty starting the motorcycle. I think we're back on the road. guys, we are heading out to go meet with Rhino Resto. Taking a quick run, it is Memorial Day. We're heading up to the Veterans Cemetery in Boscoen. Bit of an annual trip for us. We're gonna meet up with No Luck Paintworks up there as well. Fish Tank Whiskey, he'll be joining us. As you can see, I switched up the bars a little bit. We got these lower drag bars that No Luck Paintworks gave to me. I'm really, really liking the lower feel. It just feels like you're, I don't know, I hesitate to say that it feels like a sport bike, but you just feel so aggressive the way that it handles through the corners when you're almost tipped a bit forward like this. So. Hopefully you guys can still see the road ahead of me and the bars. So, what I'm noticing is that we have a little bit of a flat spot in this carburetor. And what it could be, very easily, is that I never adjusted my accelerator pump. I filmed that video for you guys on the Super E. And I'm pretty sure I left that accelerator pump at the stock setting. Passed through a bunch of these little towns here in New Hampshire. Look at this. Just gorgeous. All these little, and then you'll just be on back roads all the way out in the woods, and then you'll come through another one of these little towns. This is Goss Town here, or at least that sign said it was. such a cool place to roll through. Hardly any traffic. It's easy to forget how much better life is when you have a running motorcycle. I think we all up here in New England, you go through the winter time and you think, oh, you know, I'm working on the bike, I'm having fun. It's a fun project, this and that. And then you get back to riding season and you go, wow, everything other than this sucks. There just is no better feeling than being on these two wheels, cruising down the highway on a beautiful day. The building, I don't know, I guess everybody's different. But for me, the building of the bike is fun. It allows you to express what you're trying to express with your bike. But it's a means to an end. And the end is this right here. Getting to enjoy it, ride it down the highway. Once I have a bike the way I want, set up right, looks the way I wanted it to look. And I don't care if I just do nothing but ride this bike for the next few years. upside to getting stuck in traffic on a windy back road like this is when you get stuck behind a generation 2 Tacoma V6 baby that's a working man's truck right there that's the truck of a man that gets shit done all right okay i can see now Right here. 
what I'm talking about. A nice, aggressive. on this one so we're gonna take it a little easier but not too easy now, you know what with traction's not bad I guess that's what everybody says right before they eat it right about ready to roll out heading for the vet cemetery about a half hour from here linked up with Rhino, finally get to see his build for the first time. Thing is awesome. We'll get to cruise him. Right out here. 
look at that. Just gorgeous. Beautiful New Hampshire, huh? Lakeview Drive. Dude, that's where I lost the bottle, right? Oh, yeah. We're going left, right? We got a missing bolt. Yeah, I started seeing it clacking around a good bit. And this one looks like it's, oh no, I guess that one's not on its way out. I thought that one was falling out, but. All right. I do have them. Let me grab some. Are you got them there too? Do you have, a metal, do you have any metal ones or something like that? I do. This is a reminder. We talked about it in the toolkit video. Gotta have that metal wire. All right, let's get this shut off. If I could remember how I tied this on here. All right, can we get to the other side? Like, could, could we loop some? I've just got like that wire, the metal shit. Yeah, just metal wire to throw yeah. in there. There you go. Stronger than a bolt. Right. I'd be amazed if it if it broke. I wonder how many we could probably wrap a couple times through it. Awesome. And it's coated. All right. Got a little bit of lubrication on there, and then we'll just twist it until it's tight. Oh, I thought this thing was backed out, but it's actually just doesn't thread all the way in there, huh? You wanna you guys had a nylock or a regular on the back? It's a nylock. Beautiful. Oh, that fucking exhaust is hot. Oop. You okay? <laughs> yeah. Now, did I make that too? Oh, fuck, dude, that don't move. I think most of that slop was actually this. One more time. Okay. So, move. You gotta do the front one, too. Oh, look at that, like a 16-way combo. It's the Harley official. <laughs> You get these at swap meets for fucking five dollars. <laughs> this is the way. Yeah, dude, that's fucking not going anywhere. It, now that you said it. But you ain't going I nowhere. I for, probably just forgot to say that when I tightened that bolt in there. That's it. That'll do it, dude. That'll get you every time. The fucking the old red Loctite. Yeah, I have yes. not used red Loctite on anything ever. Except for actually the sprocket nut on the front. It's funny, I was talking about how I never used blue Loctite. Yeah. And then my air cleaner fell off and it should have had blue Loctite on it. Oh, live and learn. I got this, that. All right. I think we're back on the road. Now, if there's one thing my bike hates, it's restarting again while it's already hot. Let's see how she goes. Wow, I swear that very rarely does it go that well. If that wasn't on video, I would never believe it. First breakdown out of the way, we got the brake caliper reattached on Rhino's bike. And now we are back on our way to the cemetery.
guys on a quick little ride around here. back to Dan's. Just an amazing place. And we're off. I didn't take you guys right through all the, uh, we got a nice little walk here with a bunch of memorials in it, but just something feels weird about carrying a camera through a place so somber. So, Sorry I didn't bring you right in, but at least you get to see the grounds. This is that area I was talking about. They really do a good job. you got nothing to hold you so when you need both feet down you got to be in neutral situations like this you got to make sure your shifting set up solid and luckily mine is very solid inevitable difficulty starting the motorcycle. There it is. Not bad. Now where the hell did we lose Dan? Oh, he's on the other side. Another tricky foot clutch situation. Ripping 
again, baby. Let's go. Push it over. The inevitable. Always something with choppers, right? We're gonna do a little kicking in the corner. All right, here we come over to the corner. And we'll get this bike back running. The old broken diner. Time to roll out, see how she does, starting. time with this one guys thanks for tuning in catch you next week where i'll come back to you with another how-to video we've had some fun with the ride-alongs as you can see i'm super excited to get the bike out but it's time
time to get back to teaching. So look for some more of those videos coming out in the very near future, and I'll catch you guys next week.